For today's video, I thought that you all might like to see a review slash demo slash pamper routine using the new Zoella Beauty Sweet Inspirations range. I know that I'm a little bit late with this type of video, a lot of people have already done reviews and demos and things like that, but I wanted to do my own because I've never actually um, done a review of some of Zoe's products. I don't actually think I've ever spoken about Zoe on my channel, but she is one of my favourite YouTubers and I have been following her for a really long time. I actually was reading her blog before she kind of made it big on YouTube. The first blog post I ever read from her I remember actually because I was looking into dyeing my hair ombre by myself. I've just gone on her blog and I've actually found the blog post that I am talking about of how to ombre your hair at home that she did and it's from September 2010. So that's six years nearly that I've been watching her. So I was really keen to get hold of some of these products because um, I've never actually picked up any of her stuff before. I'm not really sure why. I think I just tend to stick to like Lush and stuff that I know when it comes to baths. Um, but I've wanted to branch out a little bit more and see what else is out there. Uh, so I decided to pick up the new Sweet Inspirations range. I was actually quite surprised that Zoe bought out a sweet smelling range because um, I know that she doesn't really like sweet scents, she talks about it a lot in her videos and neither do I, I don't really like sweet scents at all, um, there's nothing worse for me than like a sickly sweet overpowering scent, like the Yankee candles that are sweet scented I just absolutely cannot stand, like I just hate them, <laughs> I can't deal with them. So I was just really curious about what it was like and I love the idea behind some of the products and this range in particular really like screamed out to me because it just looks so beautiful that I was like I want that so much. So I went out and picked up a few products. So I didn't get every single product in the range at first because I wanted to see if I liked the smell, I wanted to see if I liked the products and to test them basically before I got more from the range. But I have got all of the bath products I think. So I'm going to be talking through the following products and that is the Zoella Bath Latte, the Zoella Beauty Sugar Dip Bath Salts, the La Fizz Bath Fizzes Bar and the Double Cream Body Lotion. And I can confirm that I absolutely do love the scent. It is a sweet scent, but it's not overpowering in the slightest. It's like milky and creamy, and it's got like a hint of almond, and it's musky. And I feel like it's quite sophisticated for a sweet scent. It's not like a kiddie sweet scent, like actually candy or cupcakes or anything like that. It's not like that at all. It's more classy, I think, and just a bit more mature sweet. So I'm gonna be talking you through each product and telling you what I think about it and how I used it in a pamper routine, which is part of the demo. And I've got a nice new bathroom, so everything looks really pretty. So I was so excited to film this new pamper routine. So the first thing that I do whenever I have a pamper evening is I run the bath. Obviously it's not a pamper evening without a bath. So while I'm running the bath, I set up a few props, props? I set up a few decorative additions to make my bathing experience as pleasant as possible. So in this case it was a orchid plant and a copper candle which is from Primark. <laughs> so while my bath is running I like to go and make myself a drink or a snack or both depending on how I feel because I spend so long in the bath I could spend hours in there if I wanted to. So this time I decided to go all out and make myself some chocolate covered strawberries because why not treat yourself? So I just put some white chocolate and some milk chocolate in these little pots and then I put those in the microwave so that they would melt. Then I just grabbed some fresh strawberries and these ones were from Waitrose and they were, oh my god, amazing. They were so sweet and juicy. Just, if you're looking for really good strawberries, go to Waitrose. So I just took them one at a time and dipped some of them into the white chocolate and some in the milk chocolate. And then I just placed them on a greaseproof piece of paper on a wooden board and then popped that in the fridge for them to set. I also decided that I would treat myself to a glass of Prosecco because I was actually going out that evening to a friend's birthday. so. I was drinking that night so I thought I would treat myself to a glass of Prosecco in the bath. How classy am I? Also, here is a really good tip for all of you legal age Prosecco drinkers out there. If you add a little bit of elderflower cordial to your Prosecco, it will sweeten it up a bit and I think it tastes so much better. So I did that and I love it. Also, another tip is if you put a small spoon in the top of the bottle, it will stay really fizzy and stop it from going flat. So once the chocolate on my strawberries has set, I bring everything upstairs and place it next to my bath. And the next thing that I do is clean my face and put on a face mask. The one that I'm still loving is the Lush Love Lettuce Mask. So when my bath was about half full, I decided to use the Zoella Le Fizz Bar first. 
I love the smell of this so much, but I just love the packaging of this whole range, like the pastel colours and the 20s vibes. I know Zoe said that she was going for a 20s vibe and you can really see that in these products. So inside you get this big block of fizzes and you can drop however many you want into your bath. And I love this idea so much because it is kind of annoying when you have a lush bath bomb or something and you have to put the whole thing in and it's like a waste of four pounds right there. But this bar is five pounds and you can literally use it like three or four times before it's run out. So you just get so much more for your money. So I just put four of these in my bath and they fizzed away. It fizzes the bath back to being clear, but it leaves a really gorgeous smell so that you come out smelling all nice. So I love this and I'm 100% gonna be going to get the other two from the other two Zoella ranges because I will use this all the time. And it also has a handy do not eat sticker on the back, which is handy because I wanted to eat this when I saw it because it looks like a bar of white chocolate, which is my favorite. So after my bath fizzed had left my bath smelling all nice, I decided to use some of the Zoella Beauty Sweet Inspirations Sugar Dip Bath Salts. That was a mouthful. Can we just take a sec to appreciate the packaging on this? A lot of love has gone into this and it's literally some of the best packaging I've ever seen. It's so cool. So it's like a mint green base and then this pink triangle lid comes off and inside you have your bath salts. Obviously I've already used them because I filmed the pamper routine prior to this. Um, so you just rip off the side bit. Oh, they're going everywhere a little bit. I love these. They smell the same as the Le Fizz and everything else in the range. Everything does smell the same. But these are stronger in scent, I think. So um, if you put these in the bath as well as the fizzers or instead of, you're still gonna be smelling delicious. There's also a little sticker that says reseal me, which you can stick on and it won't spill out when you're not using it, which is so handy because let's be honest, more products need things like this. This is well thought out. So I just sprinkled a handful of these in my bath and they dissolved away nicely. The next thing I think is my absolute favorite from the whole range. It, I just think it's so cute and it's such a good idea. And it's the bath latte. Why has nobody thought of this before? It's like such a good idea and look at it. This is so, so cute. Look at the packaging first of all. Can we just, can we just? I am one of those people that loves drinking out of milk bottles and jam jars. Like, I don't even know why. I just think there's something way more fun about drinking out of a jam jar with a handle than a regular glass. So when I saw this and it was like a bath milk in the shape of an actual milk bottle, I was just like, yes, this is way up my street. And the packaging is the same as the fizzers, but this time it's a really pretty pastel blue. I'm loving all the pastel colors. And it's got a really nice 20s gold metallic print as well. And this is a bath and shower milk. So you can also use it in the shower and in the bath. And it does make the most incredible bubbles. I find that with the Lush uh, bubble bars, I can't really get a lot of bubbles from them. For example, whenever I crumble it under the tap, the bubbles are so minimal. Like I have to swish my whole bath around for ages before I any get any decent bubbles. But with this, I poured a little bit into my bath around the tap area and it made the most incredible bubbles, as you can see. I have used this um, two or three times actually, which is why it's here now. Um, but you do only need a really tiny bit to make the really good bubbles. And again, it's got that really gorgeous, subtle, sweet scent. So I love this. I've got some on my nose. So this is my favorite, I think, out of the whole range, just because I love the whole package of it, everything it stands for. I love it. So now that my bath is smelling incredible and there's lots of lovely bubbles, I'm ready to get in. But before I do, I like to set up my laptop so that I can watch something while I'm in the bath. And I'm in the middle of a major catch-up marathon of keeping up with the Kardashians. So I was watching that while I was in the bath. And I have my chocolate covered strawberries and my Prosecco with me as well. And it was honestly one of the best baths I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so once I was out of the bath, I had one more product left to use. And that is the Zoella Beauty Sweet Inspirations Double Cream Body Cream and this is a sweetly nourishing macaroon scented body lotion. I have to admit I'm not the best moisturizer. I prefer to just throw in a bath melt or some baby oil into my bath and moisturize that way because I'm so lazy with it. Um, but I decided to try this out anyway just in case it was you know really good. The packaging on this is really amazing as well. It's got like white and pink pastel um, stripes and then it has a really cool gold Z right in the middle. I love this Z, this is one of my favorite things. So once I got out of the bath, I used this all over my legs and my arms and anywhere where I thought I needed a bit of 
moisturization and I was actually impressed with it because you only need literally a tiny amount and it goes such a long way I think I put like a pea-sized amount on my arm and it did like my whole forearm like you do not need a lot of this at all and it also blends into the skin really quickly which is a great thing because I hate it when you put moisturizer on it just takes ages to blend into the skin so this doesn't take very long at all and you only need a tiny amount so that's a winner for me and I like it. So after I finished my pamper evening, I just chilled out for a little bit before I had to get ready to go out. And I love having pamper evenings before I go on a night out, like to spend the whole day pampering yourself before a night out with your friends is one of my favorite things to do, I love it. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, then make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. So I can do maybe more videos like this in the future and it does really help me out. If you haven't already and you would like to, please make sure to sub, sub oh make sure to subscribe to my, I can't say the word subscribe please make sure to subscribe I can't do it I cannot do it please make sure to subscribe I want to kill myself please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are aware of whenever I post a new video in the future it's completely free and it just means that you get updates of whenever I post so click here or click on the subscribe button in the down bar don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think of this new range and what's your favourite product from it. And you can also leave me any video requests that you want to see from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.